Hi again, it's Mike from Jetpack CRM. Today I wanted to share just one small thing that we've done to our website to drastically increase the number of contacts that we're getting into our CRM and it's something that anyone can do and hopefully with this short how-to video you'll be able to see what we've done and how we've managed to just make a small refinement to start getting contacts into the CRM and then that opens up the whole power of a CRM from just a small tweak. So here we go, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so let's take a look at the small changes that you can do to your website to drastically increase the number of contacts going into your CRM. So I've set up a CRM demo with very similar content to our main website. And what I've got here is so there's a download link, next a store link, a blog link, and like a link to how you get support. So generally, you may set up your site in a similar way, and you'll have a download link. And what I've got here is you go to download, and I've just got it going to a download your product page with a PDF embedded. So that's great, you're getting content delivered to your audience. But with a few small changes, we can get all that data into your CRM and then you can have a ton more leads to start working with. So to do this, I'm using Jetpack CRM and Jetpack. So the first thing you want to do is go to Jetpack, go to modules at the bottom, and then enable the contact form. So that's the Jetpack contact form enabled. And then what I've done is created a new page. So very similar to the other page. And I've called it Download Gate. And then what I've done on Download Gate is I've put in a Jetpack contact form. So if you click the little steps there, you can target your form block. And then I've just changed some settings. So what I've done here is this was our original page. And then in the settings, you can essentially show a custom text message, show a summary of submitted fields on submit or redirect to another web page. So once the form's been submitted, then I'm redirecting to the page I already had. So it's a small tweak. I just put an extra step in front to say, I'm gonna download, but I'm gonna put a little gate on there. So just a, just a small thing to stop people downloading straight away. So you just have to the email first. So then that's there set up. And then if you go back to the menus, and then if I just add in that download gate, remove the original that we had, put it in the same place, and then just change the label to be the same. And save the menu. So then if I go back to the website, so I'm a fresh visitor, I go to the download page and I've got a Jetpack form there. And then, so this is all running from this page and what I've got in the CRM integration is to say, store these contacts in my CRM. So you land on this page and so I'll be Mike. And then, Com. Exactly the same as before, so I'm just capturing a name and an email and it takes me directly to that same page. But then when I go to my CRM and my contacts, I've now been captured as a contact. And then you can do all sorts of things on here with the CRM. So you can pop in there and add some notes, you can send an email and just build up the picture of that person. So rather than just downloading your product and you're not getting any information, you are now capturing their contacts and you can see when they have been in contact with you since and you can do advanced things like getting them onto a certain email list like we showed in other videos. And so this was just one of the things that we've done to fine tune the way we're capturing our contacts and just the things we can do with that data. So to see it in action, you've got this is our website, again, download for free. Enter an email, so again. Um, and then it just takes you to that similar type of page afterwards and then automatically downloads the products. 
So that is just how we've been using it. It's been working really well and you just need two simple things. So Jetpack with the contact form module and Jetpack CRM. So I hope this was a useful video. If you want to see more tips like this, then please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.